I can go to your middle. You will see that. Okay. Yeah. You will see that it's all left three. Um, right. So it's chapter six and ten on this um, unit that we're doing. And if you go to lab three, you will see that we put the lab three uh, RMD file on Moodle. So download that. And uh, the instruction, um, you will see that it's pretty um, similar to what we had in the paper, except we walked you through step by step with the beta binomial example that they did. OK, so there are, I think, four questions in total. So take your time um, to read through them and then maybe compare to your understanding uh, with the paper and all that, and I'll uh, walk around uh, to answer specific questions you might have. Okay. So let me... <coughs> right, so a quick comment here, if you're doing, um, reading this part, um, like we're trying to simulate from the beta binomial distribution, and then part of this is we're trying to get the exact solution. So when you're trying to do that, you will see that you need to so it's right below uh, equation four in the um, lab at the moment. So you're, you need to install packages, this vegan um, package. So you might, so it depends. So um, it might get the warning message saying that it's not available for your R version. So uh, what you need to do is if you go to, right, so if you, um, yeah, if we come to there, uh, this vegan, vector generalized linear and additive models, this particular package, uh, on their website, they say you will need to have at least your R version to be um, 3.4.0. So um, if you're getting that warning message, what you need to do is you just go to CRAM and then download the most updated um, R version. So for example, if you use a Mac, come here, the latest version I think is 3.6.1. Yeah, so if you download and install that, it should solve the problem that you might be having. So when you're going through the lab, you might notice, um, say for example, uh, Maggie earlier was asking the question, well, what is the R beta by norm um, is actually getting us for? So you notice that um, for this exact solution here, we're trying to get um, a random draw from this beta binomial for x. Okay? So that's what we're, so all of the notation I think is following from the paper. So you might want to go back, uh, but pretty much right now we're using the R beta binomial to generate the uh, draws for x. Okay? We're trying to get the marginal distribution like we're doing here. Um, so we can get the exact solution. And then the second part, or like the later parts of this uh, lesson, is trying to ask you to use the deep sampler approach and then try to compare the exact solution and the deep sampler approximation. So that's what the Peter one in the paper is about. So if you have any questions, uh, you can actually go back to the paper to read it more carefully. And um, I think it's mostly just about section two. And it's just about example one, so you don't have to read uh, like widely the entire paper, mostly example one on page 168. Okay. Yeah, so I think um, Olivia, I'm a typo. I think in the question exercise one, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was a typo. It should be N is 16. And I think I wrongly put down 15 when I yeah. uh, wrote the lab. So you can, I will upload the new version afterwards, but since you're working on it, uh, it's around line 92 um, of the uh, markdown file. So it should be n equals to 16, not 15. Okay. So when you're writing your code, make sure that you use the right uh, value. Okay. Okay, one more comment here to share, which is actually a pretty good insight uh, that we didn't find out earlier. So if you read calculus of the paper, which is what we're trying to replicate, you see that, well, X and Y in this case, both of them are unknown. Okay, so you can see that they jointly have this distribution and in equation 2.5, and what we have done, what we have seen earlier is uh, in the paper is equation 2.6 A and B. These are two um, conditional, full post zero conditional distributions and contents. Uh, but what's different between this and the stuff that we did so far, so keep 
in mind of this. And then if you come back to, I guess, the lecture slides when we're dealing with the normal case, uh, I guess in this case, yeah, this will be an example here. So in the model that we covered in class, both mu and phi, they are parameters, but you also observe data, okay, y1 through yn. And what we derive is those full conditional posterior distributions of each parameter given everything else. So when we say everything else, it's the data and the parameters. Okay? But if you look at the paper more carefully, you will see that, well, for the beta binomial example that we're trying to replicate here, it's almost like there's no data. Okay? You only have x and y. They're both parameters. Okay? So deep sampler, when the way that we covered in class, which is most commonly done, is that we're trying to make inference for multiple parameters. And then we have this full conditional posterior distribution for those mu and phi, like what we saw before. Here, um, you can see that deep sampling actually can be used for, for more than just what we covered. In this case, you have two parameters. Both of them jointly follow a distribution. And then if you are able to derive x given y and y given x, then you can also use deep sampling just to sample, first of all. Okay, not necessarily data going to be involved, uh, but this is, so beta binomial is actually just a famous um, example because jointly they have this expression, the equation 2.5, and then conditionally one is binomial, the other one is beta. So give sampler can work just to generate x and y, even though we're not doing it so much in the Bayesian inference framework because there's no data involved. Okay. So think about give sampler, I guess, more broadly. And this is an example, I guess, I mean, they chose to do this in the paper because it's pretty um, commonly done, especially uh, if you go to equation uh, 2.7, we know that, well, if you have x and y jointly following that distribution, you can derive the marginal to be what they call the beta binomial distribution. So that's the biggest difference, and I think it's worth uh, mentioning in class. So, I mean, if you didn't notice that, fine. You can keep doing it because once you have uh, 2.6a and 2.6b, which is also included in the write-up that I have for the lab, you can't write a give sampler directly. Okay, but maybe it's it's good to pay attention to the difference between what we do in the paper uh, compared to what we do in class. Okay, because they're sort of different um, things. But give sampler works for Bayesian inference for the posterior, but also if you have multiple parameters, uh, even without the data, you can write the joint distribution of them, and then you can sample them from Git sample as well. Okay, all right, that's all I want. So we can keep working. I figured out the issue with the claim.